Hi everyone, and welcome to the Managing Reference Data Use Case. Reference data usually helps us classify or categorize data, and there are a lot of scenarios in Tableau that can benefit from it. However, so far, we do not have a way to do this, so that is where Writeback comes into play. In this example, we want to create categories, then add additional subcategories, either to the newly created categories or to the existing ones, and lastly, we can add new products based on the two previous dimensions. So let us see an example on how this works. Of course, this one is already set up, but in a bit, I'm going to show you how to configure it. On the first right back configuration, we will be providing the category. We have a dummy worksheet that right back always needs to be configured for one. Even the field that I'm passing here is not relevant. It is there just for right back to read it. So we can create a new category and after submitting, Writeback refreshes the data source and we can see the category on the list. Now, we will add a subcategory within LAMPS, just by selecting that category on the worksheet. One thing to note, the fields on the product form have an additional condition where they only show up if a subcategory exists. So, in the current state, as LAMPS does not yet have a subcategory, I cannot add any product, so let us add a subcategory. Okay, again, with the other refresh after submitting, the subcategory is up on the worksheet as well. Finally, I can add the product based on the existing subcategories. Let us say it's an RGB LED strip. We have eight of them, and let us submit. There we go, our new product is now there on the list. As you can see, we can easily develop a very dynamic dashboard that lets us have a complete flow to create new data without ever leaving Tableau. Now, this is just a simple scenario to create new entries, but I could now, for example, create a new dashboard to manage all the existing products, both the original ones and the ones added by Writeback, or make them available to other processes. All of this is achieved by joining the functionalities between Writeback and Tableau. On Tableau, we have the visualizations and tables, and we are using a union and drawings to show the data together. Then Writeback lets us add data on top of what's available in the worksheet. To the data sources panel, if we look at the data source, I have a union between my original data source, orders, based on Tableau Superstore example, that includes the original categories and subcategories. And then, my new categories table, where the categories is inserted by right back set. Then I have a left join that will show the subcategories from the right back side as well. This allows me to create these compound visualizations. At the end of the day, I have my original source, which already has some categories and subcategories. I am creating a union to show the initial categories as well as the new ones from right back and then the subcategories on a left join to show the existing ones and the ones that come from right back. To show how this is set up, I am going to a new dashboard that does not have right back yet. It already has the necessary worksheets to achieve this use case, but is missing the right back part. First things first, I am going to bring right back in to add the categories. After dragging the extensions objects, I'm going to select the TRX file for the writeback extension that I have running in my infrastructure. Because I already set this up on the other workbook, I'm going to use the Save Dataset feature to load the previous configurations, but it still lets me show you how these would be configured if it was the first time. So, for the category dataset, we simply have the text field to provide the category name. Down here, I have the other refresh so we can see the categories being refreshed on the worksheet. And the mark requirement setting is disabled, as for this case, we do not need to specify any mark to provide a category. That is the reason why we have the dummy worksheet. The inline form is also enabled to allow for partial submissions. There we go. We can now submit new categories. I can also see the previous categories that I just submitted, uh, because I load the previous dataset so the data is still there. Uh, and I can still insert new ones. Let us submit, for example, housing. But this time around, we do not uh, see the refresh working yet, even though it is enabled, uh, because I have not established the union. Before working on the data source, 
Let us also add the subcategory input. I'm going with similar steps as before. This time around, I'm going to select the subcategory worksheet, which is the one that contains the category to select when adding a new subcategory. Other than that, in this dataset, we have the mark requirement option enabled, but the rest is the same, as we also want to refresh the data source. Before we add the product's configuration, we will first build the data source to allow us to see the new categories and subcategories. First, I'm going to set up the union with the category table. Before proceeding, I need to merge the category fields between the right back one and the original one. Once this is done, I can now create the left join that will allow me to show the subcategories according to their corresponding category. So I will drag the table to the data source and join it on the category field. Now, we can start working on the worksheet. It will simply include the category and subcategory. Because we're using a union and a left join, we can display them as is. Going back to the dashboard, I can now create the right back configuration to insert new products. Just like before, I'm loading the dataset to speed up the process. Once done, this would typically create a table, but because I'm loading, it will simply use the one from before so we can right away build the data source for the products. So let us go there. This one is also a union, as we want to list the existing products as well as the new ones submitted with writeback. Lastly, building the worksheets is also very straightforward as we simply want the list of products. With this use case, we can see how quickly we can have an input system with dependencies to manage our data. Thanks for watching!